Hey guys, so for this video I want to talk specifically about um, undercutting, cutting down the side wall of a pot. I refer to it as undercutting because most people do and the tools are called undercutting tools, but that's not the only thing they do. Undercutting is actually um, kind of leaves out part of the story. What I like to do with an undercutting tool is um, kind of manage the profile of the bottom, say, quarter or third of a pot. So that includes removing material from the wall that you couldn't get out with the pulling process and taking the line of the pot right down to the bat so that you can either then do a thrown foot, uh, so removing some material in advance of doing a thrown foot, or be set up and do a trimmed foot. Um, so it sort of like takes away any material that you may not need so that you're not dealing with it later. Okay, one other thing I want to mention is the type of undercutting tool that I prefer. This is just a wooden undercutting tool. They come in most pottery toolkits. The difference is this one has a little bit wider angle. So most undercutting tools are really sharp. This one's a little bit wider angle and I kind of prefer that. So you can play with your, you know, get your undercutting tool and a piece of sandpaper and just like change it a little bit. But, but you can see um, a little bit wider angle works really well. So hand position. Hand position is going to be like this. So you hold the tool like a pencil in your right hand. The edge, or the cutting edge, and this is not sharp at all. You don't want it to be. Um, the cutting edge is going to be like perpendicular to the wall of the pot. So we're not, we're not doing this. Um, we're doing this. And the reason for that is if you turn the tool so that its sharp edge is forward as the clay is coming around, it will start to like, um, you know, swim like a fish. It'll, it'll pull around. You won't be able to cut a perfect circle that way. But if you turn this tool so it's perpendicular to the pot, like at a right angle to the pot, um, this edge will help you to, it'll, it'll ride perfectly along the profile of the pot and help you continue that profile right down to the bat. It works really well. Take your first two fingers of your left hand and put them down towards like the business end. So it's like this. This is what I like to do. So I've got a grip on it, but I've got some extra leverage because it's pulling a little bit. So you have to be able to control that. So it's like elbows down, arms down and on your legs, and then like a pencil, these two fingers up by the cutting edge. Okay, so you can see this pot is like, um, it's sort of like an egg, right? And then there's like this thing at the bottom that's not part of an egg. So we're going to remove that part, this sort of tree trunk effect down here that's just a remnant of the making process um, from the egg shape. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take my the edge of my undercutting tool and line it up with um, this curve, but above the area that we wanna remove. Like, you know, fairly, up the wall, maybe right there. So that's a good half inch before I'm really into any of this extra material. I'm gonna take my undercutting tool, hold it like a pencil, and take two fingers and brace the end. And then I'm just going to start to draw the rest of my pot. And I do that just by keeping the edge of the undercutting tool in contact um, uh, with the sphere shape at all times. So you can see I've removed everything that's not necessary and the sphere shape is just like the only thing that's left. Now um, in order to get, we have basically a ring left over now. So in order to get rid of this ring, just take your needle tool and slip it under the ring while the wheel turns, just like that. And then you can separate the ring from the bat and then you just slice through and you can lift the ring away. And that's a really great technique for removing excess material. So you don't have to do it in trimming. This is a really easy, uh, an easy way to go about it. So just to clean things up so you can see, I'll take my um, sheet metal rib and just smooth this out a little bit. And of course this will get trimmed, so it doesn't have to be beautiful. Um, but just so that there's no like inconsistency. So when you go to turn this over, you have a nice round pot to deal with. That's the whole point of undercutting is it helps you kind of shape the bottom, but also get ready for uh, trimming. Little trick here. You can just take your um, undercutting tool and scrape it against the bat and remove just about every scrap of material that's in your way. Um, and then there's one other important thing. So I'm gonna take the end of my needle tool and just slip it under the pot, oh, a quarter of an inch or so, not much. Just enough so that we can get the wire under there. 
So I'm going to use one of these mud tools, um, wire tools. I actually prefer them. I think they're pretty nice. Um, so uh, the way that you want to hold one of these, though, isn't really by these green handles, if you ask me, for smaller pots. You want to wrap it up around your fingers. Um, so I've got like two, like a loop around two fingers and then a loop around one. So I've got a small enough area. So basically the area of exposed wire is similar to the area of the base. You need a little room to work, but it's um, not, you know, too much bigger than the area of the base. Then you want to push down with your thumbs. Okay, so it's like, it's like wrap it up, put your thumbs on the wire, and then push the wire into the back. That's how you want to um, wire stuff off. So basically a little tension and a little downward pressure, and then you can just run the wire right under the pot. That little slice that you made using the end of the needle tool um, to make a path for the wire helps the wire to track straight. So instead of the wire like rising up at any point, it will stay nice and flush to the back. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video on how to use a wire tool and how to undercut um, a volume. See you in the next video.